Hi everybody, Mataz here and welcome back to another Bitwig Studio episode. Today we're gonna have some playful time with the sampler in Bitwig. So first out we have some instrument tracks here and we're gonna drag some samples into Bitwig. So here we have some drum samples from uh, my latest uh, sample pack called Hit Me Hard Volume 1. And um, everybody who's purchased any of my courses will get this uh, kit for free in the Morning Dew Media Education app. First on the instrument track we press the B key to bring up the medical browser and search for SA Sampler. And let's add the sampler. And we'll create a new multi-sample instance. Now let's jump to the folder and drag these hi-hats into the multi-sample area. And uh, if we select these, we can see that they've spread the, the big, big spread the samples across uh, the different areas, but uh, we want to have these uh, on the same key with the same root key. So what you can do is uh, activate this uh, multi-sample editor mode and uh, this dashed area will be the root key. So make sure that we have all these uh, with the root key on the C3. So we have them playing the same pitch on the same key. Right, so by default we're going to be triggering all the samples, but that's not really what we want. So select all the samples here with shift and press the last item. And we're going to right click and select distribute select equally. The select function in the sampler is the knob down here, and that makes it possible to select different samples from the multi-sample. And we need to activate the star to the right here, so that we can see the different values for the selection of each individual sample. Now, as you can see, if I trigger some hi-hats and I move the select knob, we can select different samples from the multi-sample. And I think that we need to make this a little bit more tight in the start. The start offset, something like that. Right, so that's a really quick way to be able to have some more control over the sample selection. Okay, so now over to the fun part. We're gonna add some modulators to modulate the sample select. So let's add a new modulator and maybe add the curves. And press the learn key and attach that to the select, the sample select. If we open a modulator, we can see it's uh, currently both uh, positive and negative. We need to have it only positive. Like so. And let's set this to sync instead of free. So we have the modulator syncing to our DAW tempo and uh, the beat grid of, of the DAW. And let's set this to a half note. And let's add some notes in a pattern. So let's double click and go in here and add some C3 notes. And let's make a selection around these. Press Command D to duplicate. So now you can see that the selection follows the modulator. And of course, there's some fun curves here in in the library. And let's make some adjustments to the curves. Maybe have it set to bar instead. So we have some more uh, dynamic organic playing here instead of some static uh, samples being played. To round this little quick beat off, let's add some cymbal. Yeah. Drag that to a new track. And let's add... Oops. And remove the key tracking for the cymbal.
Okay, so now go ahead and experiment and add some cool modulators to this uh, sample selection and let me know on the Discord channel what kind of cool stuff that you come up with. Right, so finally, don't forget to check out the Hit Me Hard sample pack available from store.monodumedia.com and uh, you also get this free if you purchased any of my courses. And as you can see, it's a whole bunch of cool samples. See you in the next episode. Bye.